All right. So someone asked me the other day how I have a, a, a cow with no fence. And I have come up with a system that works. Uh, obviously, as you can see, it's a runner. Now, if you've ever tried to put a cow or even a dog or any animal out on a runner before, it has some downsides. Uh, or or most, most have a downside. You know, if you just you know, tie them up with a rope or to a stake or a... Or a a post or something you know they end up getting wrapped around or if there's something they can get hung up on they will uh, so obviously the runner solves that that problem but then the other problem with a runner is that you know you got to get it good and tight and and so you've only got it's not customizable usually you've got to have you know one length rope set up for for one distance span and if you want to be able to move the cow around, or you have to be able to move the cow around because it'll graze out their area, strip it clean. And, and so in order to be able to run it, move it around, you would either have to have a bunch of different runs, run the right size for every place, or you got to have a customizable system. I have come up with a customizable system. Uh, and we are going to show it to you now. Well, I got you here. Uh, you may have seen in one of my older videos or more recent videos that my buddy Adam over at North Point Axe is going out of business. Uh, he has a 20% discount code. It's going gone. Going is all capitalized. Going gone. 20% discount over at NorthPointAxe.com. You know, he's got the custom, uh, custom axes and knives as well as the Mora knives. This would be a really good opportunity to stock up on some Mora knives. You know, those are the, the great little bushcraft knife with the Scandi edge. Uh, you know, for what they cost, they're, they're a fantastic knife. And you, they're, they're inexpensive enough, especially with a 20% off discount code. That, you know, you could throw one in the truck, one in the tackle box, one in the toolbox, one in the utility room. You know, they just have them pre-staged all over the place. Uh, remember, he's being put out of business by our tyrannical and greedy government. So if, so if you need a knife or an at custom axe or, or anything along those lines, go, go check them out. Remember, 20% discount code, going gone. Going is all capitalized. We, we thank you. The heart of the system, I learned this in the Marine Corps. Can you believe that? If you've ever been to mountain warfare training at Bridgeport, you may remember something called a nine to one. It's a system of, of rope pulleys set up. And when you put like one pound of, of effort in one side, the way it all works, it puts nine pounds at the other side or, or what you're pulling on. So what I've done is I've taken one third of the nine to one and made a pulley so that I can get a good straight tight run, but then I can get these knots out. Uh, because that way, it's customizable. You know, when I, I can take this away from, I can move this rope from here and take it somewhere else and, and, and reuse it again without having to, you know, have a completely new rope or uh, having my rope only fit this one thing. So what you have to know are two knots. You really have to know one knot. Uh, if you put a, you have to know the directional figure eight or the along the line figure eight. And, and it's hard to tell here. I'll try to show you better in another clip, but you see this, this loop or bite right here comes out of this, this knot along the line. This is the line, you know, this is the rope runs straight, hits this knot, you make this knot, and then the rope keeps going and part of the knot is this loop that comes out of the knot the same direction as as the line so it's called an along the line or a directional figure eight all right so this one is a little complicated and, and i i still screw it up this is an along the line figure eight and i'll show you why this is so important i did it wrong already nope still not right that's it.
Okay, this knot is really important to this. If you don't get this right, then you're gonna screw up your rope. Okay, this is what it looks like. Your bite, your loop, is coming out along your line. And that's why it's called an along the line, not an around the line, along the line, figure eight. Uh, and once we cinch down on this, we'll, we'll be able to get it back out that same way. Let me see if I can show you that one more time because I have to redo it every time. I get it wrong every time. So you're gonna cross your rope get a clamp it and you're gonna go over the direction you want to go in and come around and through not at all like that <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave this in just so y'all can see I'm sorry cross it grab it you go away from the direction you want to go in loop around the rope and come back over and I have to do it every time I have to do it multiple times. And so you got that figure eight again. You want to dress your knot just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to show you why this is important. So here's the real trick. Run your rope around your other post, then bring it back into your loop, your bite here in your, uh, directional figure eight and it's going to work like a pulley and you're going to be able to take all the slack out of that rope and you're going to be able to get it up nice and tight and high but your animal is not going to get tangled up in it and uh, you better come up here just a little bit closer and this is I don't normally like to have this much pigtail left over. Grab your loop and your rope and wrap this thing. I'm putting her on a real short run right now because she's only going to be here for a day. You want to get this good and tight because this is where your, your slack is going to come out of. All right, and your last few times around I like to do three you just leave them looser and then you pull your pigtail back through but I normally don't like to have this much pigtail but I'm doing a smaller run today because she's not going to be here for long all right and then just do whatever you want with this. Because it's only going to be here a day or two, I'm just going to... get it up out of the way. You can see... look at that. See how she's pulling on that? You saw how tight I had it. I'll be able to get this knot out in under a minute when the time comes. Uh, well, maybe two minutes, but it won't take me long at all to get this knot out. All right, so here's what I'm about to take out. If you look at this knot, it looks tight as can be. And actually, it's loosened up a lot. This was uh, completely straight. I'm going to show you. This knot is uh, it's not that, that bad. All right, so this is at a weird angle so you guys can see it. So it might take me a little bit longer than normal. But, but this figure eight, just along the line or directional figure eight, has been cinched down on very hard and then pulled by the cow. So you see how tight it is? I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get it undone. So the trick is to to pull the rope away from the knot and then twist it and that actually uh, makes the diameter of the rope just a little bit thinner and I don't know if you can see this or not but every time I do this 
it's just coming out a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And once you get it through that first loop, you just start working on the second loop. Pull it back, twist it, and push it in. Now remember, you really want a dynamic rope for this rope that stretches, not necessarily a static rope. There you go. That knot had been in there for a week. And that what makes that's what makes the whole thing reusable and uh, customizable. Now on the other side, I've got a uh, an around the line figure eight, and I'll show you how to. I don't know that it's an. I'll I'll show you how to tie the along the line figure eight too. Really, what you should do on this side is just get a a D clip or a carabiner or something and you know attach it tie it into the end of the line and come around and attach it back into the line that's how my I have a longer one too I use for longer spans up at the garden that's what I do with that one I just haven't put one on here but if you don't want to to do that you can do an along the line around the line figure <laughs> around the line figure eight uh, I should have showed you that before I put that up there it's not hard all right so here's your figure eight right and you're gonna take your pigtail around your whatever, this taste the post, and then you're gonna trace your way back through the figure eight. Now I'm using way more pigtail than I normally would because I'm just trying to use up excess rope because I'm not going very far today. And you dress it up, tighten it down, and you'll be able to get that untied later. That's an around the line figure eight. All right. So there you go. A completely customizable, completely reusable run to put your, I won't say large animal, she's a small cow. But uh, yeah, obviously it would work for Anything smaller than her, dogs, sheep, goats. And I think it would even work with a bigger cow than, than that little Dexter we've got. So, uh, we won't say uh, we appreciate you men this time because this is probably one for the late, you know, the lady might be interested in too. Uh, but we appreciate all, appreciate all of you, thank you. <laughs>